so you don't have to dismount anything to get access to the radar sensors it's just enough to to pull out those clips here what I did, I just pried it open with a piece of plastic comes out you have full access to them make also sure the plastic covers are clean sometimes errors are thrown when the covers are covered by heavy snow or thick dirt on the rear, both sensors are also easily accessible. The passenger side is directly visible and you can squeeze your hands in to get it out. The one on the driver's side is a bit covered behind the heat shield of the exhaust. Just untighten the one single bolt and push it a bit to the side and there should be enough space then to get the other sensor out. At least on the ML and GLE it is pretty easy to do this job because there is a lot of clearance. On a CLS or E-Class you might be in a position to need a lift or at least to dismount a, li a little bit more stuff. Let's talk now about the schematics. Here you can see all the CAN communications going on with the radar sensor control module, which is the N6222. Our sensors, our radar sensors, are the ones starting with B29 and they talk via a separate CAN, CAN S, which is also called sensor CAN. This makes our work easier because in most cases the error is within CAN-S, usually caused by a broken wiring, bad connectors or just water entering one of the radar sensors or connectors. You can test the whole CAN-S circuit by measuring on the pins the resistors. More on that in a moment, let's first discuss how to find N6222 or the radar sensor controller module. In my case, the N6222 is on the left side or my driver's side on the height of my left knee. It can easily be found just by removing a few screws, the ones right below the steering wheel and I think there are two more which hold the actual controller in place. And now the detailed circuit. Here we see all the pins and resistances. I recommend going step by step. The controller N6222 needs to have a resistance of 120 ohms between CAN high and CAN low. In most cases the contro controller will be fine, it's in a dry place, which means you can focus on the other parts, which is usually the sensors. I recommend measuring directly on the connector of the controller first, towards the sensors. This way you can check also the wiring between controller and sensors, and the resistance of the sensors as well. All radar sensors should have a resistance of around 360 ohm. So when measuring on the N6222 connector between pin 40 and 50 towards the sensors, as shown on the, on the schematics, you will measure or you should measure a value of around 180 ohms, since the two sensors are in parallel and this usually means 360 divided by 2. The same test can of course also be performed from the sensors towards um, towards the controller N6222. Depending on the errors you have, maybe this makes also more sense because it's usually the rear sensors um, B296 and B297 which are broken. They usually get wet, the water enters the housing, they then start to swell until they eventually are destroyed. In most cases I, th I would say for most other Mercedes models you can es expect the same pins, the same connectors, mm, the same resistance values. However, if anyone has the exact values for, I don't know, E-Class, S-Class, CLS-Class and so forth, feel free to share with us in the comments.